Casper Ruud versus Rafa Nadal is a final group stage match for the ATP Finals 2022. And both guys have had different roads to get to this final match. Casper Ruud started the season off at number eight in the world and with two Grand Slam finals, had a chance to be world number one, but ended up peaking at world number two just after the US Open before settling down to number four in the world to get into these finals. Ruud's season record was 48 wins, 20 losses. Again, very active on the tour, which included three titles from six finals, two of those finals being the US Open and the French Open, and the three titles he won, all clay court events in Gestad, Buenos Aires, and Geneva. His best win of the season was against the number four in the world at the time, Zverev, in Miami, a tournament that he ended up making the final of, and his worst loss of the season was against the number 229 in the world, Shelton, in Cincinnati, which was a huge upset. Rafa started the year off at number six in the world after missing most of 2021 due to injury, and after winning two slams to start the year and a bunch of other titles, he settled in at number two in the world, heading into these finals. Again, it was an injury plague season, so Rafa didn't play that many matches, winning 38 and losing six, so not as many matches as probably some of the younger, younger guys, but he did make the most of his time on court, winning four out of five finals that he played, including the Australian Open, an event in Melbourne before the Australian Open, Acapulco, and of course the French Open, but has been on and off the court with injury since then. His best win, beating the world number one Novak Djokovic at the French Open in one of the best matches of the tournament. And his worst loss was actually in Cincinnati against Borna Choric, who was 152 in the world at the time. Now we all know Choric went on to win that tournament. Maybe in hindsight, not his worst loss, but still, by ranking, it is the lowest player that Rafa has lost to this season. These guys have only played the once before. That was at the French Open final, all the way back in June with Rafa winning easily and also bageling Rude in the final set. But this is gonna be on a hard court, so I don't know maybe Rude feels like he's got a better chance on a faster surface. If Rude's going to win this one, he needs to be aggressive like he has been against Felix and against Fritz. He's also going to have to keep the variety going. He's been serving very well as well, so he needs to keep the serve going against Rafa, who struggled against the bigger hitters. If Rafa's going to win this match, he has to be the bigger hitter and be the more aggressive. He's been pushed around by Fritz and Felix. Rude might push him around on the serve, but I think that Rafa can push Rude around, especially seeing that he beat him at the French Open 6-love in the final set. I think he'll have a psychological advantage to Rafa. This is going to be a very fun match because we've got Rude, who has not lost a match, and Rafa, who has not won a match. Who's going to win this match? I'm going to go with Rafa. I think Rafa's going to finish the season with a win. He's going to snap that four-match losing streak, and because Rude's already in the semis, I think he's going to take the foot off the gas a bit, maybe take it a bit easy against Rafa. Rafa's going to win this one, I reckon, in three sets, but let me know down in the comments below who do you think is going to win this final matchup.